So, good day, sir. I am Leo Lord Julian L. Oligorpes from Section Prophet Jeremiah. So, here's my reflections. So, first is what exactly are natural talents? So, so natural talents are gift that can help us achieve our goals and make a difference in the world. So, there are something um to be celebrated and nurtured so however it is also important to remember that natural talents are not the only thing that matters so we can all achieve great things if we are willing to work hard and um, and never give up on our dreams so of course natural talents are not the only factor that determines uh, success hard works dedication and opportunity also play a role so but natural talents can give us a head start and they can uh, make it easier for us to achieve our goals so and i believe that everyone has the potential to develop their natural talents however some people may need to work harder than others to achieve their full potential so the important thing is to find something that you are passionate about and to never give up on our dreams so next is why is it important to discover your talents so discovering your talent is important because it allows you to understand your unique strengths and abilities so in enabling you to top in your full potential when you identify your talents you can focus your efforts on areas where you excel so leading your greater productivity success and personal fulfillment so by recognizing your natural abilities you can make informed a uh, decisions about your career so and also hobbies and personal development aligning them with your talents and uh, to achieve a sense of purpose and satisfaction uh, so moreover knowing your talents can boost your self-confidence and self-esteem as you become aware of the valuable cons uh, contributions you can make to the world so ultimately discovering your talents empowers you to live more authentic and fulfilling life and make a positive impact on those around so next question is do you believe your talents will be useful in your future career and why yes i think my talents will be useful in my future career as an educator so i have a, a wide range of skills including the ability to be creative which is essential for engaging students and making learning fun. And I'm also able to edit and lay out materials which will be helpful in creating presentations and other resources of my students. So in addition, I'm able to um, access and process information quickly which will be helpful in keeping up with the latest educational research and trends and i also able to communicate effectively both ver verbally and writing which be essential for interaction with students parents and colleagues and and also i think i have a lot of the skills and abilities that would make me successful educator so with my creativity and my ability to edit and lay out materials and my communication skills and i will be able to create a learning environment that engaging and stimulating for my students so next is based on your favorite activities what do you believe is one of god's spiritual gifts to you and why so based on my favorite activities i believe uh, that one god spiritual gifts to me is the gift of teaching because i love 
to learn new things and I find that I am able to understand and explain complex topics in a way that is easy for others to understand and I also enjoy helping others to learn and grow and I believe that this is a gift that God has given to, um, me to use for his glory and one of my uh, favorite activities is to teach the word of God to children and I believe that gift of teaching is a powerful tool that can be used to change lives and also when I teach I am not just sharing information I'm also sharing my passion for le uh, learning and my desire to help others grow uh, to help others grow and I believe that is a gift that God has given me to use for his glory so next is what do you think God intends for you to do with the gifts he has bestowed upon you so I believe that God intends for me to use my gift as for singing in the church to glorify him and to minister to others and I believe that my voice can be used to lift up the name of Jesus and to bring comfort and encouragement to those who are hurting so and I also be I believe that my singing can be powerful tool for evangelism and it can be uh, used to share the good news of Jesus Christ with those who have not yet come to know him and I am grateful for the gift of singing that God has given to me and I am committed to see uh, using it for his glory and I know that I'm not perfect and that my voice is not always perfect however i believe that god can use even the imperfection voices of his children to bring him glory also the gift of teaching the word of god to children because he wants me to help them grow in their faith i know that children are curious and eager to learn and i am excited to share with them the amazing stories of the bible and i want to help them understand god's love for them and his plan for their lives and i also i want to help them develop a love for reading and learning so that they can continue to explore god's word so patrick rick warren's quote to be your best give god your best so in his quote it is a reminder that we will can only reach our full potential when we are living in alignment with God's will. When we give God our best, we are not only doing what is right, but we are also tapping into the power of God's grace and blessing. This quote can be applied to all areas of our lives, from our work to our relationships to our personal growth. When we give God our best, we are putting our trust in him and allowing him to work through us so we are also opening ourselves to uh, opening ourselves up to receive his guidance and support and of course giving god our best does not mean that we will never make mistakes or experience setbacks however it does not mean uh, that we will be moving in the right direction and that we will have God's help along the way so if you are looking to reach your full potential I encourage you to take up Pastor Warren's advice to heart so give God your best and trust that he will help you to be your best so in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 before I shape you in the womb I knew all about you before you saw the light of day I had holy plans for you so this verse from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 it is a powerful reminder of God's love so it, it it tells us that god knows us even before we are born and that he plans for us that are holy and good so the phrase before i shape you in the womb suggests that god has been intimately involved in our lives from the very beginning so he knows our innermost innermost thoughts 
and feelings and he has a purpose for our lives so the phrase before you saw the light of day tells us that God's plans for us are not based on our mer merits and and or abilities and they are based on his love for us and his desire to see us fulfilled this verse can be a source of great comfort and hope for us it is reminds us that we are not alone and God is always with us so it also reminds us that our lives have have meaning and purpose even we are uh, we don't understand it all yeah, so if you are feeling lost or uncertain about your life i encourage you to meditate on this verse so allow it to remind you of god's love and his plan for you so may not always understand what is doing but you can trust that he is working for your good so in the book of ecclesiastes 12 1 it, it says remember also your creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come and the years draw near when you will say i have no pleasure in them so the verse ecclesiastes 12 1 is a reminder to our life or your life in a way that honors god so especially when you are young when we are young so the author of delicious test uh, solomon is reflecting in the meaning of life and the importance of living a life that is meaningful and pur purposeful he warns that as a as we get older we may become less interested in spiritual things and more focused on a material world so this is why it is important to remember god and his commandment while we are still young so this verse with the command to remember your creator this means to have a deep appreciation for god and his rule in our lives it also means that to obey his commandments and live a life that is pleasing to him so the verse goes on to say that we should remember god in the days of your our youth or your youth this because our youth is a time when we are most impressionable and open to spiritual things if we wait until we are older to start following god it may be too late so so the verse ends with a warning about the evil days and the years draw near this refers to the time when we will no longer be able to enjoy life as we once did so may we may become sick frail or even lost our loved ones so this is why it is important to remember god and his promises while we are still young if we do we will have a foundation of faith to help us through the difficult times that come